Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, and uh, this video is actually pretty special. Well, not actually pretty interesting. So you know how last year I did my top 10 figures of 2022. And this year is, well, almost over. So today's video, we're going to do my list of my top 10 figures of 2023. Now granted, this list is not organized, this list. I don't hate any figure. Again, I will talk about a few QC issues right here and there with them. But uh but yeah, every figure every figure on this list came out this year, not from the previous years like twenty like in twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two or twenty twenty. No. All the fig all the all ten figures that came out this year came out this year. So I made so I made it completely fair this year. Because last year, some people got mad that uh, some figures came out the year before, and yeah, I still added them. So, yeah. So, enough introduction. Let's get on to the list. And starting off with number ten, the list. Uh, S six figures, Kamen Rider Live, Bat Gino. Oh boy. Now, anyway, that's great. Why is he number 10? The more I have fun with this guy, the more I play on him. I love, I love this figure. Also, be honest, I think my favorite character in Revice. Everyone knows that I'm not the biggest fan of Revice. I don't hate it. I don't think I do. No. I actually don't hate Revice. I just wasn't the biggest fan of the second half. But, uh, yeah. And I like Daichi's character and his arc. And well, this well, this suit. We'll be honest. This suit isn't all that bad. But that's just my opinion. But no, uh, when first when this guy first came out, I said to myself, I wasn't gonna get him because the helmet looks off in the promotional picture. It really does, in my opinion. Just the more that I play around with him, the more that I look at him, the helmet looks accurate. You can say, but just it looks a little bit more off. Probably because the helmet is, is skinnier for the figure because the suit we want buff for it. But, but that's just my opinion. And yeah, he's good. My only issue with this guy that uh, his chest pieces like to pop off every time I try to like stand him up and that's and that's and that's why he's number ten. Because of the chest piece. No, I not put glue on because well I don't I don't want to ruin the figure because this figure has droppable, this figure has droppable parts to change it from that to Jack with you know, but still. But yeah, that is like one issue with him. But minus that, this guy, this guy's really good. I, I got mine from Amazon a couple of months ago, a couple of months after he was, he came out. Like I said, that price looked great, tempting on Amazon. Fuck it, let me go buy him. And well, I did. And yeah, good figure, good character. If I could give a rating, an eight. Not perfect, but really good. And for number nine, oh, well, this one has to be pretty crazy. He's everyone's favorite about Spooder Man. We have the essay. Oops, sorry. We have the SA figure art, Andrew Garfield, well, made by me too. Now I'm gonna be honest with you by saying this. This guy is really good. I mean, he literally, honestly, is really good. First got him, he was a little stiff, but opposing him, it felt like I was felt like that I was, uh, felt like I was back in a, wait, what, what, what was it, 2014, 2012, the, the second Andrew movie came out, and, uh, younger me, teenage me was excited for that movie, because, well, I really did enjoy, I really was excited for the first one, and, uh, yeah, younger me enjoyed that movie. Not the biggest fan of it now, but uh, this guy, 
but this guy uh, blew my expectations. From articulation, from posability, and, uh, <laughs> and all that. He sounds really good. If you don't, if you don't want to know, yes, yes, he's P Bandai, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm able to get mine from well, Big Bad Toy Store. I don't have Toby, unfortunately, but I'm okay. I'm okay, well, I'm okay, well, Toby, because I, I can't tell fine. I can't tell I'll get him another time. But I'm actually good with Andrew. We already know that Mayfax will probably make a. Uh, we already know that Mayfax will probably make a uh, an Andrew figure. Hold on. But now. But until we wait for that, I'm not buying the Marvel Legend. This guy is my defended Andrew in my collection. I love it. Good scope, good posability, good articulation, and the outfit looks so much like the one from the movie, and I love it. That's why he's number, that's why he's number 10. Well, sorry, number 9. What I'll say, my only issue is that uh, he was a little bit. Uh, Stiff when I first opened him, but uh, the more I suppose him, the more illusion he got, and that's really good. So, yeah. Okay, on to number eight. Oh boy. Now, I'm actually surprised that this one came, this one got, this one was part of the list, but uh, I should have pre ordered him, but I didn't. But here we are. Number eight, uh, Number eight, the essay figure arts, Sin Koku Seho, double ex double extreme. Now, for those who don't know, I did not pre-order this guy. Not one bit. I did not pre-order him. Why not? Well, this is uh, the reason I didn't feel like it. I skipped him because I thought, you know what, I want to save money and uh, I'm like, forced to double, forced him double, I can't, I can't get you the boy. And well, I was heartbreaking about that. And then, let's say, well, no, when I made that Ami Ami unboxing video, I saw him in stock the last month. And uh, I said to myself, let me go for him. Decision by ordering separately, so I had to cancel that. Put him, oh, sorry, I had to cancel that. Put him in a different order, and here we are now. My only copy, my only issue with this figure is that the cyclone side of his shoulder piece loves to pop off every time I pose him up. Everything else works perfect. Everything else is perfect from the guy memories, from the accessory. That's it. His cyclone side of his shoulder, his cyclone side of his shoulder, liked to pop off a lot when I first got him. I'm just gonna say, if you want the figure, just be careful opposing him like that, because that that could be an issue. And I don't want, I, and yeah, I don't want anyone else to do with that. So yeah, I did not pre order mine from Premier Bandai. No, I got mine from Ami Ami because well, he was well, I don't pre order like a lot of. This is the thing I do. I don't pre-order a lot of figures that are said like final forms of power-ups. Cause I just wait till I, I just wait till I find them available for like a good price after after on P Bandai. But yeah, this guy's really good. I love this suit in double. It's one, it's, it's one of my favorite final form in my top three with this Bill Genius and Ghost Mugen. So having this in my having this in my collection makes me so happy because. Again, it's one of my, one of my favorite final forms in Kamen Rider. And, uh, I just love the lore behind this in the show. And, uh, yeah, I fanboy when I saw this in Futo P.I. So, overall, Double Extreme, I'm very sad if I bought him. He, his shoulder, his, his Cyclone shoulder pad is annoying. The mind's that, everything else is pretty perfect about this figure. Alright, and number <laughs> seven. Oh, boy. I'm actually surprised that he made the top 10, but uh, number seven, we have the SS Figure Arts Super Saiyan 
Vegeta Royal Blood Awakening, the new one. I'll be honest. I knew it. I I knew that I, I knew when Tamashi revealed that they're gonna make a they're going to reissue or make a brand new Super Saiyan Vegeta. I was excited because well, I have the original Super Vegeta. I had to put him back in his box when I first heard that they're releasing this brand new one because the old one got my copy. Of the old one got very really loose over the years, and well. It was time for me to put him. It was time for me to replace him. And also, FYI, for those who don't know, that this figure, this figure just got a reissue from from Tamashi last night. So for those that miss out on him, for for those for those that miss out on him originally, he's getting a reissue next year. So you're welcome. But uh, but yeah, he's really good. Good articulation, good posability, and the faces. I'm not gonna lie, the faces do look a little bit weird, but at the same time, they are anime accurate when he first fought Android 19. But to be honest, this outfit, but to be fair, this outfit isn't, this outfit is incorrect because this is the one, because he had those boots when he fought Cell, not Android 19. But uh, Tamashi liked to label him as Super Saiyan Vegeta, and they gave him the big bang attack. That's just like a little gripe I have with it, but minus that, yeah, uh, he's pretty good. <laughs> also, Vegeta, I'm gonna be by because Vegeta's my favorite kid in Dragon Ball Z, so I gotta respect the boy and all. And yeah, because last year, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta was, it, was, was like what, number one, I think? Number one or two last year. And this year, I got I gotta represent my boy. So yeah. <laughs> But funny enough, he isn't the, he isn't the only Dragon Ball figure on this list. You know, we'll get to him soon. But yeah, overall Vegeta, really good figure. So let's go. And coming in number six. Oh boy. Oh boy, this one. Oh boy, I'm actually pretty excited for this one. Sorry, I had to pose him up. Okay. <laughs> the Metacon Mayfex Nightwing Hush. Yes. The, the, God damn it. This veil's all over the place. Please forgive me. I can't. The figure did not want to pose up with me right now. Now, the main reason why I, uh. May, now, let me be honest with you. Nightwing is one of my favorite DC superheroes. I love the Grayson. I love the art that he he got you know, like every piece of Batman media for for being Batman sidekick, then leaving Batman to become his own superhero. And yes, I did. I am reading the Nightwing the Nightwing comics. I'm still reading them. I got I gotta go buy the other one. I gotta go buy like the other copy. But yeah, I read the first issue this year, loved it, and I cannot wait to go buy the other one when I get the chance. And when I heard that man come making a Nightwing figure, I was like, wait, hold on, what? They are? Oh, I actually need that. I love Dick Grayson. I need a bat, my, my Hush Batman figure need like more Batman members. And when I heard they're making this, I was excited. Then I missed on a pre-order. I think I canceled, I think I canceled his pre-order on me on me, so I forgot why. When I saw him grab my, when I saw him grab on Amazon, well, it was Prime Day, and I took advantage of that by him in the four OG Batman movies on DVD slash Blu-ray. And uh, yeah, here we are now. My copy, I'm oh, sorry, my copy, my, my copy is a little bit tight for the legs, but minus that, his posability is really good, and I like that. I might be biased, but still. If you don't want like the McFarlane version of the Nightmare figure, that's fine. Those aren't the best in my opinion. This guy, you will be paid around 100 but this guy is this guy is the best the best Nightwing figure ever from Mayfex. And uh, I love him. I, I love the figure. Mayfex, please make Robin, please make Tim Drake. He was in the Hush comic for a little bit, but please make that version of Robin. That's the version that I want. In figure form because I love Tim Drake. He's my favorite. He's my favorite Robin out of the main four. So give him, give me my boy. <laughs> oh, oh, we're in the top five now. Yes, let's go. Okay. 
this figure, this figure, man, supplies my expectations when he came out. And I'm, I'm actually pretty happy that I, I'm actually pretty happy that, uh, I'm actually pretty happy that he came out this year for, uh, for my top 10. God, I, I was not expecting him to be that good, but he is. Tomashi Nova Park out him. He also, he's also my favorite character in Geats 2. <laughs> Number 5, we have the SA Figure. The S, sorry, the SA Figure. <laughs> uh, Comrade Tycoon Ninja Buckle. Okay, let's talk about KY. Listen, we, listen. Say what we're gonna say about KY. I know he's not one of my favorite character. He will, people who, I know, I know that a lot of people do not like him. Some people despise him, some people think he's boring. I don't care. I love his character. The deal, the deal reminds me, the deal reminds me what it meant to be a common writer. Homeboy lost his sister and went through a vengeance arc just to get her back. Funny enough, it reminded me of Anakin Skywalker. Talking about Anakin Skywalker lost his mom and uh, he, and he used his anger to kill all of those uh, Tuscan Raiders. Not just that, when he lost Padme, when, not just that, when he went to the dark side, he had a vision, a nightmare that he lost Padme. Well, when he lost Padme, he went to the dark side. You see, you see what I'm trying to say here? KY basically Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh... This figure pretty good. <laughs> I have like no I have like no like words. Pose your hand, playing around with him non-stop. I had so much fun. You know. Uh, my only issue with this that the green is inaccurate, but my that the articulation, everything's so good about him. I will say, if you want this figure, he's on Tokyo Lucky Bulls right now, but uh, be careful with the shirt hinge on his uh Arm right there, cause they are sharp and uh, they are pretty easy. They are pretty easy to pop off. I think one of these two popped off for me when I was posing him. But yeah, minus that, everything else about the guy's really good. And yes, he's premium Bandai, and he did came out. He did came out on premium Bandai US. But I bought the Japanese. I bought the Japanese release cover. Well, I didn't feel like buying a US release. So yeah. Overall, Tycoon, good character, good figure. Satisfying purchase, and I'm happy that he was in my top 10 this year. And number four, oh boy, number four. This, this, this guy, this guy meant to supply my expectations. And I say that because I actually wasn't lying, he meant to supply my expectations. Number four. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. That pose is guarded, but here we go. Number four, we have the Essays Figure Arts Beast Gohan from the, from the, what was it, yeah, 2022, I'll say, Dragon Ball Super, superhero movie. Now, this figure just came out this year on both sides, US and Japanese, and I'll be honest, I do not like this form in the movie. I find Beast Gohan completely stupid, especially the big hair. But uh, movie that I actually I thought the movie was pretty good. Personally, I prefer the bully movie way more, but that's just me. But this figure is really good for articulation. My only my my only issue that uh I can't like my my only issue is that uh his chest his abs the chest piece is limited, but at the same time, fair enough. Good articulation, especially since the special beam can affect that they gave him is pretty garbage in my opinion. 
good possibility. And uh, well, if you have, if you have orange piccolo or the gamma, they go pretty well with him. I unfortunately don't have any of those guys, so it is what it is. But uh, yeah, this guy is this guy may not be in my favorite Dragon Balls list, but uh, I'm glad that he made it in my top ten. Well, it's the boy Gohan. We we all love Gohan, yeah. even though that he got shafted at times. Okay, a lot, but still. Overall, good figure. So, uh, number three. Oh boy. Oh boy, I can't believe it. I can't believe that uh, she made it. She made it in the top five. But uh, granted, I have like a lot of bias towards her. So let's do this. Number three, the essay figure art, Kamari Aguilera, Queen Bee Gino. Yes, the girl herself. Yes, I'm an Aguilera fan, leave me alone. I don't care. And, uh, well, I'm just gonna say this. I don't care. I don't care about. I don't say that. Leave me alone. Please do not. Can, please do not. Put me in that weird group of Tokyo Twitter fans who are obsessed with her and Sakura being a couple. But I don't seem like that because they're we because they're a bunch of weirdos. Just gonna be honest. And uh, and yeah, I like Aguilera. She's one of my favorite characters, and I'm an Aguilera fan. I want <laughs> and I'm and want to say that uh, I enjoy buying the figure. Granted, I bought this for a birthday present. For, I bought this for a Christian present for myself last year. I pre-ordered her, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know what? Let me go pre-order her in the Viuga uh, Tape. And I did that. And, I'm, and uh, I said to myself, my review, that uh, this thing is good, but not perfect, because he's living it. Yeah, but it still happened. I did not like this figure at first got her. I thought she was okay. But the more that I play well with her, the more that I like the figure, the more that I pose her, the more that she got looser for me, like posing her and like my kind of poses and all that. It's weird, but yes, yeah, see, but yeah, the figure convinced me that uh, see, it's way better than the Genie figure art that I have, and I, and I think the Genie figure is way better. But it's weird. The figure is not perfect, but I like it. I will say I love it, but I like it. And I'm astounded that she hit, I'm astounded that uh, she made it hit the top ten for this year. And uh, yeah. Well, okay, move move alongside from that. Number two, oh boy, number two. I'm actually happy that uh, he that he was number two. This figure was. This figure was one of my most anticipated figures of this year. <laughs> Sorry. So, do you guys see the sunrise? Yes! Kamen Rider Shadow Moon himself from, from the Black Sun show. Kamen Black Sun. Now, listen, I know, I know not everyone like Black Sun. That's fine. You don't have to. I love this show for a personal reason. And I'll be honest with you, when I first pre ordered this guy, this guy, this guy was a birthday present to myself. I pre ordered last year. I took like When I got him, I was excited and fanboying. Like, let's go! Oh, the pictures I took with this guy. Watch my Shadow Moon review. Go watch my Kamen Rider Shadow Moon review because the review was so good. One of my favorites this year. The figure was so good. His, my, my only issue with him is this he's sharp and spiky as hell, so be careful with. Be careful with that. You don't want to hurt yourself. So, sorry. Be careful with that. You don't want to hurt yourself with, you know, with posing him and uh, game, and uh, playing around with him. Because he, he, is, he is spiky. Like, very sharp and spiky. He's less sharp than Senkoku's, than his show version. But uh, just be careful with just be careful with how you pose him. Because, well, if you don't, if you don't, you, if you don't, like, be careful. Your hands are gonna bleed, you know. Well, you don't want that. But yeah, if you don't want to know, yes, I did bought his civilian form. I bought that a couple of days ago for my birthday. Well, for a birthday present myself. It should be here. It should be here. I think today or next or this Monday. Was it next? No, no. It could be here today or this Monday. So yeah, 
But this guy's the perfect package. I have Black Sun. Having him and Black Sun together makes it so satisfying. Again, I love Black Sun, but this this figure is so fucking good. Especially the silver and the especially the silver and the green works so good. It works so freaking good. And I love it. Oh man, so good. It's so good. I'm happy that I'm happy that he he I'm happy that he made it become part of my top ten. And well, number two, oh well, number one. Before we start number one, I have I have like two or well, three honorable mentions. The first honorable mention, well, actually the third honorable mention is uh this figure right here. The Star Wars Black Series Sabine Wren figure. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to pose her. I'm trying to pose the figure, but uh, but yeah. Now, this figure was supposed to be part of my top ten, but uh, unfortunately, she uh, got kicked off because of well, reason, no reason. The figure's good. Though. My, I want. I just want to point this out by saying that uh, this head scope does not look like her fully, so which is why I kept the helmet on her. And I say it all the time. I love Sabine in the Soka series. He carried the show. Well, well, she was, she was, no fan. She was like the only character in the beginning that I care about, and I still do. She carried that show, even though I did not like it or care for it. And the figure was good, just not perfect. And yeah, though, Gertigulation, good scope and all, the, fit, the head scope does not look like her actress fully, but still, everything else is pretty good of a figure. I'm happy, I'm ha and I'm happy that, uh, I'm happy that, uh, it managed to be, it managed, it managed to hit my top 10, top 10. I don't have a mention for this year. So, yeah. And number two... The SA Figure Art, Kamen Rider Kruger, Rising uh, Dragon. Now, I want to point this out. This figure was, this figure was supposed to be part of the top 10 of this year, but unfortunately, he got kicked off because so many other figures on this list impressed me more than him. He's good, good articulation, good possibility, good all of that. <laughs> unfortunately, he just got uh, overruled by, by, by my number one choice for this year. Sorry, sorry for starting me, but yeah. We good. Good articulation, good possibility, and all that. And uh, well, I have fun time with him. And um, yeah. If we also, it's Kruger. I love Kruger. Always do, always go. Kruger's in my top ten favorite comrade show. So love it. It's simple. It's beautiful, and I love the Gorgi writing on there. Including the girl, including, including when he turns off, uh, including, including this detail when the dog turns gold. But still, Kruger, Kruger, and Kruger's awesome. Movie that. And a uh, number one, well, for, 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 for number one for honorable mention for this year, it's the boy himself, and the main, the main man himself, Mr. Star of the Stars. You can. A man named the Yukio of the Aces. That's a figure arts comrade against Boost Magma. Let me let to be found. This guy is really good. I had a fun time when I first got him. I'm, I'm happy that he got a reissue. Apparently, reissue is a way better figure because he doesn't know now. Uh, the, the first copy of his figure. This piece uh, broke right there, and uh, well, the reissue they fixed that. So, I might have to go. I might have to go buy me that brand new reissue copy of the machine to replace this guy. And also, uh, I had also this broke on me too. So, I had to use sticky tack to keep that on. So yeah. So yeah, I'm, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy a brand new a brand new copy of this guy next year. But uh, yeah, Yukio Ace. This figure is good for articulation, good possibility, 
and uh, you can shop. And uh, if you have like any other geese figures from Punk Jack, Tycoon, and Buffer, you can shop their pieces in a uh, crew entry form. I, yeah, I think Punk Jack, I think Punk Jack, I think Punk Jack's pieces work as well for the figure too. So yeah, same for Buffer. But yeah. If, if you have all those figures in the in the strop in the stroppable parts, you can uh, well you can cook with this guy, as I say. It, you know? Yeah. I'm happy that I got this guy. I love Geats, one of my favorite shows, even though I have my issue for with Takahashi. If you know, you know. But yeah, overall good, amazing figure. In number one, oh boy. Now, who is number one? It's a it's a lightning collection remaster Green Ranger. That, no, it's not. That figure, that figure is good, but just unfortunately he didn't make my own but mention for top ten because that figure is lagging a lot, and we'll be talking about that figure next year. But uh, no, actually, the number one figure of the year for me is the S A S figure art, Darth Vader from the Kenobi series. Oh boy, let's talk about. Now I love I love Star Wars at the next guy. And when I heard that Tomasi's making a brand new Vader, I said to myself, hold up, that's actually really cool. And uh I did not have a figure of Vader Kai. I only they bought the reissue episode six version. Then then uh then Tomashi announced that uh, the re then Tomashi announced that uh they're going to make a a Vader based on the Kenobi series. I'm like Hold on, I like the Kenobi series, even with all the flaws there. And, uh, well... Having this guy in my collection makes me happy. I have the Black Series version, and those figures, those versions of him are... Good. I can say, they are good. But not perfect. And that's basically uh, good articulation, good posability. My only issue with the figure is that his shoulder piece on uh, this side popped off, but I made it put it back in. His cape could be annoying, but but the cloth works perfectly. You know, you can switch the you can, you, can, you, can, you can switch the droppable head with the damaged head. Just be careful with. With how you put the head on there because I know I have a feeling that the neck piece will snap easily and you don't want that. But overall, if you want this guy, he's on Hollywood like Japan and Ami Ami. Unfortunately, he not came out over here in the US, which I don't know why. But uh but yeah. Good figure. I love uh, I love Star Wars and uh having this guy and him being number one makes me very happy. This year has ups and down, but I'm happy that figures came out. And uh, yeah. Tune in for next year. Train for Force could be interesting year. So, yeah, for that. Now, take it back to, uh, well, other. Now, take it back to my other self when he's in the, when he's in the gaming chair. So, yeah. And that's my list. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow. All my social media in the description. Your boy's trying to hit a thousand subs this year, this month before it ends. And I'm well, with that help, we can do that. And also, uh, just want to point this out. I'm sorry I haven't posted a lot of videos this month. I've been busy and I've been a little tired. Haven't had the energy to make this, but uh, I felt like I need to make this video because, well, well, it's toys now. Well, I like toys. <laughs> and yeah. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my ch well, follow my social media description, as I said, and put the notification button on. For my, put the notification button on for my next video, and subscribe to my channel too. If you guys help, I can get a thousand subs. And yeah, that's my goal till that's my goal till like this month is over, and that that will be the goal for next year as well. Thank you all for watching, guys. Till next till next year. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas too. And uh, yeah, peace.